Hi, hello. Ni hao. Ni ho. Thanks, I'm great. I just feel really hot. Correct, I'm from Germany. You can say from the middle of Europe. Maybe not exactly. <laughs> In Taiwan, on that crowded island with beautiful nature. <laughs> not really. Except for my flight to Taiwan, I was at the airport of Shanghai. And just a week ago, I have been to Hong Kong for a few days, which was a great experience too. Hong Kong is even more crowded than Taiwan and has a lots of skyscrapers. In October, I plan to go to Osaka and Kyoto in Japan. I think that's gonna be really interesting too. That's a good question. Also, many Taiwanese I meet ask me that. Well. Since I'm quite interested in different cultures and places, I watched in Germany a lot of TV shows about traveling, German immigrated to different countries, and this also has been a dream since I was a teenager. The point is, I never could imagine me before to go to an Asian country for language reasons or maybe life standard rumors. Those reasons woke my interest and when I saw several shows about Taipei, I was impressed and want to go there. I also choose Taiwan, since for German people Taiwan is not so popular. Some even just would get mixed up and think of Thailand. <laughs> High buildings people live in. It's crowded wherever you go. Especially Sundays, not like in Germany. The nature, those mountains, and definitely the Taipei 101. Except for traveling and shoot videos, I also give several friends German lessons. Quite many Taiwanese are really interested in, and some of them just go for study to Germany, not as you would think to Munich or Heidelberg. To my surprise, Freiburg, Tübingen, and Mannheim which are also popular university cities in Germany. Yes, no idea where to start. I've been to Taipei Zoo, Taipei 101, Yangming National Park, Wulai, Danzei, Songshan, Yonghe, Dingxi, Banshao, and Guting. Just very soon I want to go visit Ilan and Sun Moon Lake. No, just go ahead. My comment on that is maybe just subjective, but I'd like to share with you. Stores, restaurants, or a night market, for example. Taiwanese really try hard, of course, for selling, but in Germany they are not so much engaged sometimes. So you can say, I like the service here. Other Taiwanese I'd call reserved. But when it's about to get in somewhere like MRT, people here really in rush or on street. They just run already in at the same time as people get out. That's Europe like. I love Taiwanese hospitality. That's true what rumors say about that. For my students, I teach German. I can tell they're really nice, generous and well educated. Food, that's a difficult topic. Of course you can have here truly delicious speciality, but also you can have things which make you feel no more so good. Me as German, I miss cheese, sausage for example, salami or ham, yogurt and bread products, or and chocolate. But you can have here yummy cheap lunch boxes with so many different ingredients, and I mean really cheap. What I cherish most are dumplings. It's um dough formed like a blossom with meat and cabbage inside. It's really yummy. Here you find different chicken pork menus, but either they taste sweet or spicy, which I don't like at all for chicken or pork. 
I miss a truly schnitzel. The breakfast is interesting here, which is mostly also warm, as every mealtime in Taiwan. Since you get at any place any food here I never cooked yet at home. On time means especially for me when you make an appointment that you will show up at the appointment time or even 5 to 10 minutes before. My experience in Taiwan is most people here would show up 5 to 15 minutes later 